top side, and the 68 takes it over. Sorrell to the back straightaway. You lead him, and not for long. Here comes Jerry Wynch, Wynch punching a hole. Wynch in the 34 to the inside. Jerry Wynch, the airborne champion, looking for the front of the pack early. He's got it in the back chute. 89 away. Stern fills the hole on the inside as they bump and grind in four. 34, Jerry Winch. Ray Stearns in the 89. Doug Murphy dirt tracking the four. Murphy to the bottom of the race track for third place now. Old center Kevin Sorrell trapped in the outside lane and going backward. He caught him in 68. Murphy goes to third. Craig Roy now the final qualifier in car number seven. Top four finishers go to the main event. Final qualifier. Craig Roy in the seven. Challenge for the lead. Ray Stearns in the 89 getting into the action. Seven diving low on Sorrell. He'll pick up the number five spot now. Menard one spot out of the money in the 07 car. Marcel Gravel, last week's winner. Out of the back in the 86, looking to pick up some spots. Gravel now to the number six position. Top four cars have broken away. Jerry Winch, Ray Stearns, Doug Murphy, and Craig Roy. It'll be two laps to go this time. Two to go in Flying Tiger Heat number one. Jerry Winch across the line with two to go. White flag ready to fly this time. It'll be Jerry Winch. Now Doug Murphy to the bottom of the racetrack. Murphy in the four looking for second place now. Final time to the back straightaway. Three cars under a blanket for the lead. Here comes Stearns on the outside. Here they come to the line. At the stripe, it is going to be very close at the line. Turn four. Delphia on the inside. Brown on the outside. Green flag. No contest in turn number two as the rocket takes it over. Brown in the 99 away with it. John Donahue up to the number three position. Ryan Delphia gets harpooned all the way back to fourth, and here comes Donahue now. John Donahue on the bottom. Go to the second place. The Tiger 50 Series point leader, John Donahue, up to the challenge for the final spot. Give it to Mark Germain in the 35. Germain now the final qualifier in car number 35. Roger Brown and John Donahue, Chris Scrout and Mark Germain, the only four that count. It'll be two to go next time. 
to go. This time by for the Rocket Man. Roger Brown on the 99 with a big lead. Donahue in second. Chris Stroud and Mark Germain. Battle continues for fifth as they lean on each other in turn one. White flag. One to go now for Roger Brown. Josh Lovely out of the back of the back. He's back up to fifth place. Turn four, easy win at Tiger Heat number two, Roger Brown, the 99. John Donahue second, Chris Grout, the 49, is third. Final spot to the 35 of Mark Germain. Here we go. Pembroke, the only four spots that count right now. Double O Joe, Joey Steffen, one spot out of the money in the double zero car. Then Ray Williams, Pete Ainsworth, Tim Campbell, and Big Jeremy Duye. O Joe and Ray Williams, oh, brother. Here they come in turn four. Down to the stripe, green flag. Becker on the outside, dirt tracks his way to the lead. Becker in the 25 takes it over, Langlois back to second, and here comes Eric Pembroke rolling in the outside lane. Eric Pembroke grabs a hook of the high lane, and he'll go to second. Langlois back to third, fast Eddie and double O Joe, halfway done. Stepping to the bottom of the racetrack in the double zero, looking for the final qualified spot as he goes after Fast Eddie. Stepping in the double O. Patterson in the 27. Only one's going to make it. We'll take four to lead him in. Joe Becker, the leader. Eric Pembroke, John Langlois, and double O Joe by a paint job. Fast Eddie trying to hang. East Kingdom, the number two man on the Thunder Road point standings in car number 12. The point leader here at the nation's side of excitement, the 66 Chip Grenier. The 18 Chuck Perkins. 
05, Craig Bushy, David Redmond on the team. Here we go. Donald Primar, Corey Pitsley, green flag. Primar on the inside, and the Dodge takes the lead. Pitsley, top side in the 48, skip Liberty down low looking for room. Liberty in the 59, fills the hole in the bottom. Looks for the number two spot. Final qualifier, Beetle Bailey in the 10, and here comes Leo Jervey on the outside. Skip Liberty, the 59 through on the inside, by a nose is second. Corey Pitchley back to third, the battle for the final spot, it's Reno Jervey up top. Bumper tag as the Fords go at it in turn two. Liberty takes second, Pitchley third, here comes Jervey, flying high in car number 12. Chip Grenier, the point leader in the 66, trying to fight his way out of the back of the pack. Only four will qualify, Jervey in the 12, the final man, we're halfway, five to go. Reno Jervey. Side lane of the number 12. Chip Grenier out of the back, closing in now in the 66. Here comes Grenier getting into it. Don at Fremont. Skip Liberty. Reno Jervais, Corey Pitsley, the top four. Looking to make the move for the final spot. Corey Pitsley in the 48. Chip Glenier, 66. Two laps to go now. Chip Glenier from way out back, trying to get it down on the outside lane. Glenier by a nose in three, pulls up on the outside, white flag. Straight away, and now it's Glenier to fourth place. Back comes Pitsley on the inside. The battle for the final spot. Primont, Liberty, Gervais, and Chip Glenier in the 66. Our baby Huey, Greg Caribou in the 31, has elected to rejoin us tonight, and not a moment too soon. Here they come. Green is out. side as they hit the back straight away. Joe Blaze on the outside in the 14 by a nose. Bousquet on the bottom trying to stay with him. Blaze at the line as your leader. Blaze on the outside. Bousquet on the inside. It's Joe Blaze in the 14 taking over. Rick Streeter in the nine trying to move on the outside lane. side of the pickup truck, trying to pick up second place. Bruschi down low, falling back in the 68. Top eight cars go to the main event. Top eight go to the main event on the bubble of 58 of Chris Hedges. Hedges the final qualifier in turn four. the front end, car number 14. Blaze in the 14. Streeter in the 9 on the outside now. Bousquet, Morrell, Dan Bigelow. 6 is Hedges in the 58. Look out, Jeff French gets the boot, the 06 into the infield. 360 and another quarter turn just for fun. the front of the pack. Blaze in the 14 with a big lead as the laps begin to wind down now. Rick Streeter around the outside takes second. 
Jeff Bousquet is third. Side by side, fourth and fifth. Chris Hedges in the 58. 88, Ron Morrill. Final qualifier now, the 12 of Jerry Nelson. Over the 94 of Little Brendan, you pick it.
laps to go, ran out of gas while qualified. Last week was just pitifully slow. Let's see what he can find for an excuse this time. Starting on the pole, here they come. Green flag. Side by side as they hit the back straight away. St. Louis on the inside and they're three wide, headed for three. Around the outside they go. in the five. The 30 of Lloyd Blakely around the outside to second. Here comes Tony Wheelock in the 39. Oh, look out. There goes the long to the wall, baby. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Oh, wet grass and a couple of spinning street stalkers. Does it get any better? Gary Bashaw still not done in the 25. Rusty, I believe, is. Oh, boy, Rusty. Terry Pierce in the five, showing the way. Lloyd Blakely in the 30, 39. Tony Wheelock. David Allen and now Kerry Henry in the 32, up to fifth. Final quarter. Oh, fuck out! There goes the leader! We lost! He's back! woo Tony Wheelock is second. David Allen, the 11, is third. Fourth to Kerry Henry. Roger Hutchinson, Justin St. Louis, Terry Pierce, Justin Hart in the four, the final qualifier. Chase 
Chase, and we've got a yard, and Whitcomb. Fisher, Wilcox, Chase, and Lesage. Here they come. Off turn four. Green is out. Mark Lanfear gets the break out of turn two. Lanfear to lead in the 27. Secto trying to hold off David Whitcomb for third place.
walking down low on Chad Wheeler, the battle for third. Silly on the comeback trail in the 68. Chad Wheeler got a manhandle the 92 in the outside lane. Wheeler, the final man in third. Jim Silly looking to take it away. Two to go.
48. 54, Josh Lovely, Scott Paye, and Craig Bushy, the top four. out on top with a big lead, just trying to bring it home. It'll be two to go this time. Lovely, Paye and Bushy, now we're broken away, second, third, and fourth. Off turn four, white flag, one to go for Corey Pitsley. Flag ready to fly. Tiger Conti number two, an easy win for the Formula Ford. 48. Corey Pitsley, your winner. Josh Lovely second. Scott Paye third. The 05 of Craig Bushy. Oh look! Oh Nelly! Ken Shorts upside down and up on the door and down the roof. Holy cow! It was over. Shorts in the 91. Caught the wall coming for the checkers and rode the rail all the way to one. Ken Shorts, the rookie in the 91, gets the inverted view of the front straightaway. in the 91. That was a hard ride. The length of the straightaway on his roof and up on the door, back on the roof again. That was a bit of an egg beater. They'll pull him out. There he is. He's out of the car and he's okay. Now we got some pretty decent runners back in the field here. We've also got the Watson back in the field. That's another story. Here we go. Green flag. Companion, the 45, away with the lead into turn three. Matt Potter in the pick -em up truck, coming back at him on the outside, picks it all the way up to the wall. Top four to qualify, Super Joe downstairs in the 75, looking to be that fourth man right now. Jerry Nelson, a high side of the 12, trying to take it away from him. Ed Companion, Terry Pierce, Matt Potter, and Soup! Baby Huey's into the infield. Much to the delight of the rest of the crowd. Welcome back, Huey. Potter to the outside, now on Terry Pierce, that's the battle for second. Potter driving hard to the outside in the 23. Ralph Cota, the 77, diving low, he wants the final qualified spot. Super Joe is not worried a bit, he'll just keep running the outside. Super Joe with that with that neon spotlight grafted to his dashboard. Look out, Soup! Oh, he's in the wall! Oh, no! Whoa, Nelly! No problem! Call back, Terry, you're clear! Keep going! Ed Companion in the 45, 23, Matt Potter, Super Joe, and now Ralph Cota in the 77. I don't know how Soup got out of that one. He followed the golden rule. He did unto others and then split. Oh! Soup's in the infield again. He's in it. He's out it. Lost a couple of spots, and that may be it for Soup. Ed 
10 in the 45, 23, Matt Potter. Ralph Coda in the 77. And the 12 of Jerry Nelson now, the final qualifier. Two to go. Two laps to go. White flag ready to fly. And it's getting crowded at the front now. Companion goes low in the 45. Potter follows him through to the inside. Coda has to back out. Here they come. The 21 lost it. Look out, Jerry!
Cut away, the 22 now opening up a big lead. Donahue, Wilcox, Simpson, and Lesage.
Westbrook and Travis Calkins, one and two, and beginning to pull away now. Pete Potman in the 11 runs third. Fourth to David Redmond, Joey Becker rides in fifth. But only two will qualify, and it'll be five to go next time. But he's going to need a miracle now to try and track down that front pair. Four to go for Pembroke. Rusty Dewey 
He's the old logger who had his crowning moment of glory a week ago with the top three finishes. Back to normal tonight. Mid-pack in the B feature. And at the front, Terry Pierce Jr. and Super Joe Fecko, the 17 and the 75 are on their way with two to go. That might not have been a bad move on his part. And Roger and Jack running out back. It's Jack into the... Eric figured he... Oh, Eric pitted. Eric pulled into the pits. They said, what do you need? Tires, fuel? He said, no, I have to tinkle. They said, it's too late. Get back out. You would think they could do a five-lap race without pit stops, wouldn't you? into a go-kart enduro. Dana Jewell is hot. In the 19th position, Billy Donahue, number 22. 19th, Jerry Lesage of Onuski, the Rotunda car. 20th is Sam Gooden out of Whitefield, New Hampshire. In the 21st is Eric Chase. 22nd is Sam Karen and Dave Simpson. Start 23rd, 40 laps. the break, number 27 out in front, Lampier is your leader. Number three on the outside, McRitchie moving up. Cooper McRitchie on the outside going for the lead. Cooper McRitchie in number three rides in second spot. Number 75 on the outside. Pete Fecto going for third. 88 down low. It's Jay LeCare on the inside. Fecto on the outside. Back straight away. Number 75, Fecto. Pulling up in the Ultramar car. Going for third. complete five laps. Nick Ritchie goes to the inside. They press into the main straightaway. 27 goes high. Nick Ritchie going for the lead. Even across to the back straightaway and down the main shoot they come. Richie and they slide down the back chute. The two leaders land in the infield. Now it's Jay LaCare out in front. In the second goes 75, Fecto.
number six going for second. Ten laps complete this time by Michaud on the inside. Pulling up is Michaud in number six into second. Vector back into second. They lap chase at number 34. Three wide out of the Widowmaker. Care in front. Michaud goes to second. Spin on the back straightaway. One, two, yellow down. Caution is out on the speedway. Wilcox, one of two cars that spins in the back straightaway. The two leaders, the 27, Lanthier and McRitchie, spin on the road. We've got a good one going now, 11 down. Ready on a restart. Jay LeCare to bring him down. Mikey Wilder looks him over. Out of four and we're under green. Misha checking out in number six. Misha going for the lead. Jay LeCare back on the inside. Wickham coming up. Here comes Phil Scott. They come flying into the main straightaway. Back stretch, Chris Michaud. Two, two race victories for Michaud. Here he is out in front by two car lengths. Whitcomb going to second. Bill Scott rolling on the outside of number 14. Scott blazing down the back straightaway. Number 14, Scott goes into third. Michaud out in front, and here comes the hurricane. Number 18, Jamie Fisher on the outside of the SC Ireland car. Fisher rim rides out of turn two, down the back straight away, holds up for fourth. Jay LeCare holds him off. Back straight away, Jamie Fisher up into fourth position. Bill Scott, number 14, closes on the leaders. Michaud out in front, Whitcomb in second, halfway, halfway. Phil Scott reeling in the leaders. Michaud first in the number six. Whitcomb number 25, second. And now Phil Scott closes in. fourth position, Jamie Fisher, 18. In fifth is Jay LeCare. Here's Jimmy Silly, number 68, down low. Silly going for fifth spot. Silly is there. And Eric Williams in number seven, up the inside. stretch. Scott going after Dave Whitcomb in the 25. Scott in number 14 with 25 complete. Ready to go to work for second place. Bill Scott goes to the outside on Dave Whitcomb. A classic battle in the Widowmaker. Down the straightaway. Bill Scott up to the outside. Scott looking to go around and go after the leader. Number 
number six, Michaud in front, Bill Scott into second. It is number six, Chris Michaud holding the lead, going in second place down the main straightaway into turn one. The 14 coming out, whoa! Travel to the main straightaway. Rich Lowry and Pembroke. A solid bone crushing crash on Rich Lowry's. Rich Lowry's car coming to rest in the first turn. The Pitney Bow England. NASCAR Bush Grand National North and the American Canadian Tour. Both here to get it on for 150 and 100 laps respectively. Field coming down, ready for a start. This is it, knee shot on the inside. The racing senator, Phil Scott on the outside. Knee shot low, Scott high. Side by side, back straight away, even across. Nishaw trying to inch out in front. Scott coming back. Five cars for the lead. Five cars battling for first place. Fisher in number 18 pulling up. Oh, look at that. Absolutely even across. Scott on the outside. Me shot on the inside. Wickham in number 25 waiting. Eric Williams trying to move on the bottom in the number seven. Beautiful racing out of four. Ready to show. Five laps to go. Me shot back in front. Now the 14 pulls up. Whitcomb driving down to the inside. He goes back in the second place. Eric Williams is up on the bottom for third. Final lap. Chris Bichot holding on. Nishad, look at him come out of turn four like on a rail. Two laps to go for Bashad at the line. Two to go for Chris Bashad. Dave Whitcomb, Eric Williams, your top three. Phil Scott falling back on the outside. Into the back straightaway. Chris Bashad looking to be the first repeat winner of the 2001 season at Thunder Road. White flag, one lap to go. Bashad in the lead, followed by Whitcomb, William Scott, and the Hurricane. Jamie Fisher down the back straightaway, the final time. Entering turn three and four. At the stripe, checkers are in the air. Chris Bashad, Dave Whitcomb, and Eric Williams, your top three. Bill Scott, the Hurricane, Fisher, fifth, and sixth place goes to the 75 of Pete Bechtel. Was the quit line. All fired up pizza Chevrolet car. Number six, Chris Bashad from Northfield taking the WDEV 70th birthday main event for the ACT Lake Bottles. A good, strong, best finish of the season for the 25 Sunray Securities automobile of Dave Whitcomb. And the cellular one, Chevrolet, Eric Williams, rounding out the top three. Chris Bichaud trying to make up the points he lost last Thursday in the double points times Argus Mid-Season Championship. And he may have made up some ground as their top two point leaders were taken out in a mid-race incident. He's returning the checkered flag, Chris Bashad at a turn four. And now for the AM 550, FM 96.1, WDEV winner circle, Ken Squire. Well, after completing a lap of honor, here's Chris Bashad getting ready to clamber out of this car after a fantastic performance. 
about 12 laps absolutely even across with Phil Scott. And when he comes out, let's have a great Thunder Road ovation. Here's Dave. What about Dave Whitcomb tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the 25? What a show he put on. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, your winner this evening, Chris Michaud. Congratulations on a phenomenal race. Did you think you had a shot at that one, the way you saw Cooper and those guys take off? Uh, Cooper looked real strong in the heat races and the semi, and uh, I knew we had a chance to get up there. We had a good car tonight, but, uh, you know, with him, I, I thought they were going to get away from us there at the beginning, but I see they had problems, and uh, here we are. And here you are. I saw your mother earlier tonight, told me that you were going to win. <laughs> yeah, um, well, we got put in the wall last um, Thursday night, and... Um, we really worked hard this weekend to get it back, and uh, we wanted this one really bad. Congratulations, Dana Jewell, to present the award from WDEV. Congratulations. Great show tonight. Thank you. Nice can. <laughs> All right. We got to pull the 50-50 right now. Would you reach in there? We're going we're gonna to find out who the... Uh... All right. Darla, I'll tell you the one car tonight. Yeah, we... Uh... I think if Phil wouldn't have been outside us, we could have got out there. We might have been able to have something for him, but Chris did a great job. It's fun. All right. And everybody's glad to see you back there. I don't want to call you old-timer, but you have been here a few years. Yeah, I have. You know, and it's really great to be here tonight and finally to get out here and uh, be in victory lane is kind of nice, and hopefully we'll be first one of these nights again. All right. A lot of people here hope the same. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen, for a great favorite, David Whitcomb and Eric Williams. And this entire crowd, Mishad has done it. 70 laps. One lap away from green. Here we go. The 45. John Langley on the inside. Donat, Freeman on the outside. They look to Mike Wilder, green flag. Good, clean start for the Napa Auto Park Flying Tigers. Their 70 lap WDEV birthday bash. On the inside, Langloy. On the outside, Fremont leads lap one. Fremont sideways out of tour two. Langloy takes the lead down the back straightaway. Here comes the rocket man. Brown looks to make it three wide out of four, but backs off. an eye on the 99. Roger Brown, winner of his heat, previous winner this year, is starting up front, and he is looking for a win. But right now, Langlois has a lead. Langlois with a lead down turn two. Down the back straightaway, the battle for second. Josh Lovely on the inside. The 06, a donut Freeman on the outside in turn three. Out of turn four, Lovely has a position down the front stretch. Pembroke, Travis Hawkins from the B feature starting to make up ground early in the back of the pack as they've made up some ground, made up four positions out of turn four. They're on the move. Right now, Josh Lovely is looking to the inside of Langloy. Langloy in the 45, Lovely in the 54 out of turn four. It's Langloy. The battle for a second. Langloy sideways out of four. Everybody making it through. John Langlois in the 45. The battle for second. Josh Lovely on the inside. Donut Fremont on the outside. Corey Pitsley in the 48 in there. So is Jerry Lynch in the 34. No real break at the front of the pack. Langlois right now by himself in the lead, but here comes Lovely on the inside of Fremont. Out of turn four. Fremont sideways. Lovely on the inside. Donat, Fremont on the outside. Lovely with a position out of turn four. He comes Fremont back at him on the outside. John Donahue, car number 26, started 18th on the field. He's on the outside trying to make up ground. Battle 
battle for the lead down the front stretch. Lovely goes to the inside of Langlois. They're going to the door in turn two. Out of turn four, it's going to be Lovely in the 54, taking the lead on lap 11. The Rocket Man advances to four stop, but here comes Winch on the inside. Jerry Winch to the 34. Brown on the outside. Brown has the position down the front stretch. Eddie Patterson on the outside. Corey Pitsley falling back in the 48. John Donahue trying to make up ground in the high lane out of four. Right now, Josh Lovely in command of this event. Lovely in the 54. from Langlois in the 45, and here comes Brown on the 99. The Rocket on the outside of Donut. Pretty much they touch in turn four. Out of turn four, Brown has the position. Here top five, nose to tail in the front straightaway. Look out, Patterson slowing out of 27. Eddie Patterson going backwards down on the outside of the 27 car. Right now, it's all lovely show. Here comes Brown to battle for second place now. The Rocket looks to the outside of Langlois. John Langlois on the inside in the 45. Brown on the outside of the 99. Fremont going to go with him on the outside. Brown takes second spot out of turn four. Start to see the gap shorten between first and second as Brown now sets the sights on the 99 of on the 54 of Lovely. Fremont sideways in turn two hangs on to it. Here comes Ray Stearns in the 89, working the outside of Pete Ainsworth. Ainsworth in the 80 in turn three. Stearns in the 89 on the outside out of turn four. Ainsworth with the advantage on the inside. stuck to the inside to get past the 27. Now Donahue looks back to the outside to work around Chip Grenier, the Thunder Road point leader in the 66, being challenged by the defending champion, the 26 of Donahue down the back stretch. Meanwhile, your leader, 54 Lovely, is seeing that yellow front end of the 99 of Brown get closer and closer in the rear view. Brown closing the gap between he and Lovely in the 54. The 45 Langlois getting challenged down by Premont in turn four. Winch is fifth, six places a 59 car. Double O Joe stepping on the outside of Ainsworth in turn three. Ainsworth in the 80. The double O stepping on the outside of the turn four. Stepping. Sideways out of four, loses ground. The 12 of Reno Gervais right there behind that battle. Here comes the battle shaping up for the lead now out of turn four. Brown has caught the 54, Josh Lovely. 26 laps in the books. 26 down in this 70-lap event for the WDEV night here at Thunder Road. Battle shaping up for the lead now. As Brown looks to the outside of Lovely and out of turn four. Can't find the room. He looks to the outside again, sideways. Now he ducks to the inside. Can't find the daylight around the 54 car. Meanwhile, the 45 Langlois hanging on to third. Don't have Fremont fourth, and the 34 of Winch holds on to fifth spot. The double zero second makes it past the Ainsworth car in turn one, bringing the 12. Rito Gervais with him in the back stretch. Gervais on the outside in the system 2000. Chevrolet, the four car, Doug Murphy behind that battle, keeping an eye on what's going to happen and develop in that situation right now in the back stretch. The battle for the lead. 
shaping up once again as Brown was to the inside of Lovely. Can't find the room, speak to the outside. Lovely shuts the door. Ainsworth now gets cleared by the double zero with Stephen. Stephen of the double zero goes tonight. Gervais now works for 10th spot on the outside of Ainsworth. Gervais to 10th spot into the top 10 now. Battle for fifth spot for fourth spot. The 34 Winch has for it. Takes it away from Fremont. Fremont fading on the outside now in the 06. Skip Liberty is now your fifth place car. Craig Roy makes a pass on the inside. Fremont falling back in the 06. Josh Lovely now works to the inside of the Fremont car. Halfway coming up shortly. Halfway and a couple of laps for the 54. Josh Lovely. Roger Brown biding his time in the 99 car. Just sitting back. Fremont sideways out of turn four falling back. Battle for eight goes to Stefan of the double zero. As Fremont continues to fade on the outside, Reno Gervais looks to the inside of Fremont. Fremont shuts the door. Donat goes to the inside. Groove now for ninth spot. Gervais holds on to 10. Skip Liberty in the 59 in fifth spot now. Trying to look for the way around the 34 of Jerry Winch. Winch in the 34, the former Plattsburgh Airborne Raceway champion in the 34, goes high, Liberty down to the inside. They touch and turn three, they hang on to it. Liberty backs off in the 59, a good lift on his part as he hangs it sideways out of turn four. Sixth place is a seven of Craig Roy. Seventh, the 48 of Corey Pitsley. The battle for ninth now goes to the 12. Reno Gervais makes it to the outside of Donat Fremont for ninth spot. Here comes the 26 car. On the outside, the 26, John Donahue working the outside of race turns, bringing the 66, Chip Grenier with him on the outside. Doug Murphy goes high out of turn four, but brings it back down to the inside groove down the front straightaway. Murphy's car losing the handle in the four. Meanwhile, at the front of the pack, Josh Lovely getting loose now. His car starting to go away a bit in the 54. Roger Brown just looking for the opportunity to get around. Looks like he may have it on the outside. Brown goes to the outside, fades on the outside of the turn four. Lovely hanging on to the lead. Lap traffic going to be a factor shortly. 41-42 now. Laps in the books. 28 remain in the 70-lap WDEV main event. 45 Langloy hanging on to third spot. Nobody can get around the 45 car as your leader. Josh Lovely and the Rocket Band get past the lap car. Timmy Campbell. Gervais works the outside as Joe Stephan of the double zero. Battle for eight spot. And Gervais has it on the outside. The system 2000 Chevrolet of Reno Gervais is dialed in on the outside. He is on a rail on that groove. One of the few drivers that can advance in that high lane. Look out, the 07 goes around. Ray Menard loops to McDonald's car. We stay green for the moment as your leaders work the lap cars in the front straightaway. A full straightaway and quarter advantage on third place is your top two cars. Lovely. And the 99 of Roger Brown. 46 laps in the books. Sir Josh Lovely and the Rocket Band. Langlois hanging on to third spot. And the 34 car, Jerry Winch running for Winch in the 34 running for There comes Jerry on the outside of Liberty. Battle for fifth spot in turn three. Liberty on the inside, Jervais on the outside. Door to door in turn one, they bring it even. Jervais on a rail on the outside. Goes up, up, up the outside. 
takes this spot away and rewinds it in three and four to battle for first by with Winch in the 34. Last car, Ray Menard squeaks by. Menard heads down pit road. Battle shaping up for the lead again in turn four. Down the front stretch, it goes to tail for your first and second cars. The man on the move is Reno Gervais in the 12 car. Gervais clears the 34 and is now working on Langlois for third. Reno Gervais, the king of the Northeast Kingdom, takes third spot away. Joe Seth and Corey Pitsley now work on the outside. Now this is where the long-term setup make a difference. Eric Pembroke with problems to the two gets around in turn three. He gets their car back on the speedway. The long-term setups are going to show now as we make lap 52. These drivers have not raced more than 50 laps this season. The next 20 laps could change the entire makeup of the race with your leaders in the back stretch. Reno Gervais pulling away from four spot. Gervais in hot pursuit of the leaders. In turn three, 54 laps down. 16 laps remain in the 70 lap WDEV main event. Battle again for the lead as lovely sideways out of the corner. Now here comes Byrne on the outside. Byrne gets a wheel of him down the back straightaway. Moves his ground up high, gets squarely in the back stretch. He goes back down to the inside checks the inside groove again on Lovely. Can't get the 99 car around the 54. 56 laps in the books. 14 remain for Roger Brown in the 99 car. Lovely, tough to get around in the 54. Meanwhile, three, car, three lap cars in a straightaway back is Reno Gervais in the 12. Cars coming into a factor again with just 12 laps remaining. Brown looks to the outside again. Can't find the room on the outside. The Rocket Man's car gets sideways. Here he comes again on the outside of turn three. Out of turn four. Now he's going to wheel up a half a car length up on the 54 car. Battle for the lead down the back stretch, and Brown loses him every time on the back stretch. He tries it again in turn three on the outside. Brown in the 99 car. Lovely in the 54 in turn two down the back stretch. Lovely hanging on to the lead. Your third place car. A straightaway back is Reno Gervais in the 12. Fourth place is the 45 of Langlois. Fifth is Wynn. Sixth place, Liberty. Craig Roy's in seventh. Donut trim off ninth is Joe Stephan and tenth is the 80 of Pete Ainsworth. Your leaders again battle in turn two. Brown on the outside. Seems to lose him every time on the back stretch. He tries to get in the corners. The 54 lovely is tough to beat with eight laps remaining. Thus far, flag to flag. Caution free to battle again on the outside. Brown can't find the room. Brown needs to find the inside groove of the 54. Josh Lovely and Brown. Roger Brown right there in second spot. Final lap. Passing flag is out. Lovely in first. Brown in second. And Reno Gervais up to third. Five laps to go. Five to go. Five laps remaining. What a show the Tigers have put on tonight. Josh Lovely stays in front. Roger Brown still in second spot. Josh Lovely going high. Brown tries the inside. Back to the outside. Laps running out. Lap traffic in front. Two to go. Two left. Two 
laps to go. Roger Brown back to the inside and now to the outside. Gervais in third. White flag is down, final lap. Roger Brown, one last shot, pulls up. Goes to the outside on Josh Lovett. Here they come for the finish. Down out of four. Brown cuts back. Lovely will win it. You simply do not see better stock car racing then you see at Thunder Road, Reno Gervais, Roger Brown, who started six, showing some great sportsmanship and tremendous driving. Reno Gervais from 17th to third. Unbelievable racing here tonight. You will not see it better anywhere than when the pride of Vermont gets together at Thunder Road. Position for the king of the kingdom. And let's go down now and meet our winner tonight after this incredible performance by the famed Flying Tigers of Thunder Road. Here's Troy Germain. Thank you, Ken, ladies and gentlemen. A nice Thunder Road ovation for our winner, Josh Lovely! <laughs> Leave it to the Flying Tigers. 70 laps, flag to flag. And this young man, was in command of most of it. Congratulations, Josh Lovely. Tell us about that run. Oh, I got to thank Roger Brown. He had plenty of times he could have taken me out, and I got to thank him for racing me clean. Uh, the sponsor of WDV, all the fans that come out every week, my sponsors, courtesy Pontiac, Brown Pharmacy, Triumph Auto Glass, Dave Pizza, uh, my Uncle Ronnie, everybody else I've forgotten. I'm just too psyched right now. Now tell us. Last 10 laps, that yellow bumper is in your rearview mirror. He's on the inside. He's on the outside. He's right behind you. What is going through your mind? That's the way I like to race, but I just kept on the ball and maybe passed on the outside. If he was going to get by me. That's where he was going to go. He was going to take me out one of the two. And it was a good strategy because he couldn't do it. No, I'm just thank God he'd race you clean. All right, the presentation from Eric Michaels. Congratulations. Uh, you really helped to celebrate WDEV's 70th anniversary. 70 laps, tremendous racing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice round of applause. The WDEV 70th birthday champion, Josh Lovely, in second place, a driver who ran an incredibly smart race. He went to the inside, you went to the outside. You couldn't drive through him, obviously, but you had a great run. Congratulations, Roger Brown. Yeah, thanks, Troy. Uh, Kyle was a little off tonight. We uh, thought we were going to be more to the tight side, and we loosened it up a little, and it was really loose but uh josh run a heck of a race uh he didn't give me any choice but to follow him and i gotta thank the fans i gotta thank wd tv this was fun we uh we've uh, had some good runs in these 50s we just don't seem to finish very well and uh hopefully this is a start to a good thing thanks all right ladies and gentlemen the presentation from wdv congratulations a great second run there trying to go after it keep on keeping on congratulations Thank you. The Rocket Man, Roger Brown, second place to the WDEV 70 lap beta event. And the driver who is mired in the back of the pack, you could see him work his way up slowly, one of the few drivers that could work on the outside. Third place, Reno Gervais. Reno, that was an unbelievable run from the middle of the field. How'd you do it? Well, I'll tell you, the only way I did it is my crew got this car together tonight, I'll tell you. It, uh, it wasn't that great in practice, and uh, same old story. They got it together for me. I want to thank uh, WDEV for putting this race on. Jeez, uh, I wish it was your 100th anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought we were running out of time. I thought we were reeling them in, but uh, I want to thank my sponsor, System 2000, uh, Gervais Construction. I'll tell you, this has just been a picture-perfect year for us. I uh, just hope it keeps going. Now, going back to the 100th birthday, Hawkins will find Ed Companion, Scott Coburn in the 92, Justin Hart in the 4, Brendan Moody Jr. in the 94, Wade Menard in the 99, here we go, green flag. Your point, your co-point.
point leader, Dan Nolan, rides 28th in the 79 car. Justin St. Louis in the Y3J. Ford Mustang takes the lead. 20 lap main event for the Thunder Road Street Stocks and St. Louis is in command, followed by the 53 car of Rene Beatty. Oh, they're stacking them up in turn three, four, hang on to it, hang on to it, hang on to it. Oh, they're still wrecking. Oh, they're not done yet. Oh, I think we're done. I think we're done. Well, not quite. The 17, hang on, Pierce. Terry Pierce Jr. in the 17 still trying to wreck it, but he's got it under control now. in the three, in command, Rene Beatty second, and it, that 93 car is third, Don Lowell. Lowell is third, but hang on as the 30 car works to the outside. Lloyd Blakely in the 30 works to the outside of Don Lowell out of turn four. And Lowell has the position, but Blakely's coming back on the outside. Battle for third spot, they touch in turn two. Lowell in the 93, Blakely in the 30 on the outside. Blakely falls back on the high lane. St. Louis looking to maybe pull off a feature wind tie thing and hang on to it. Rene Beatty in the 53 is closing in, and Blakely now works for the outside of Lowell again for second spot. Lloyd Blakely working the outside. Up Don Lowell and does it, takes the spot, bringing Joe Blaze with him in the 14. Blaze in the 14 working the outside now with a 93 car. of the stripe. Look out, car goes around, and that's Don Donahue in turn two. She goes around out of two. She's bringing it back. She'll be okay. Joe Blaze now working the outside of the 93 at Don Lowell. Lowell, look out, trouble. Bousquet goes around. Underwood's into it. The 77 is into it. Matt Potter's involved. Everybody stacking up. Yellow flag, caution on the speedway. Two of our point leaders involved in that. Nolan, I think, squeaked through in the seventh. They've added it to Sunday, July 22nd. So not this, but next Sunday, July 22nd, post time six. The rain down, Vermont Polaris dealers. Place outside, row number two is the 93 at Don Lowell. Joe Blaze is there as well, and the nine pickup truck, also there of Rick Streeter. Here we go, green flag. It was a drag race into the first corner, but St. Louis has the advantage down the back stretch. The Y3J. Car number three takes the lead down the front stretch. On the inside is Blakely for second, takes it away from Renee Beatty in the back stretch. Beatty falls to there, Joe Blaze now, feeling the heat from David Allen. On his rear bumper down the front stretch. Now getting the challenge from Blakely. Justin St. Louis to the three. Lloyd Blakely in the 30 at a turn four. Blakely from the six starting spot. Look out, play sideways. They punch it up into three. Allen goes around. Here goes Blaze in the 14 and Kerry Henry involved. Henry hangs on to it. Everybody stings. 
Somebody staying on all four as Andrews going to try to drive on top of the Widowmaker and see how that works. Wiener goes around in the front stretch as well. Boy, they're sliding all over the place. They're wrecking everywhere. Meanwhile, the 30 car, Lloyd Blakely takes the lead away from St. Louis. Yellow flag, caution on the speedway for the 14 and the 32. Go, Blakely on the inside, St. Louis on the outside. Beatty, Rowell, Underwood, and Wheelock. Here we come. Chief starter, Mike Wilder, looks him down for the green. Rowell and Beatty lead on each other down the front straight away in a turn one. Beatty takes third spot. Out of turn four. Blakely with a lead, followed by St. Louis and Beatty in the 53. Here comes Wheelock making it three wide in turn one. Wheelock looks to go three wide. The 77 goes and makes it three wide. Makes up three spots and Wheelock again goes high in the 39 car. Don Lowell falling back in the 93. Tony Wheelock in the 39 now goes to the outside of Lowell in turn three. Entering turn four, now Lowell with a position. Wheelock falls back on the outside. Battles for fifth spot, Don Lowell has it in the 93. Underwood hanging on to fourth spot, getting a little heat now from the 93. In turn three, the, your leader brings down a white flag. Blakely with a white flag. One lap to go for Roy Blakely in the 30. Justin St. Louis in the three, and the 53, Rene Beatty. Checkers will fly this time by for Lloyd Blakely, Justin St. Louis, and Rene Beatty, your top three. And after that, it's just about anybody's guess. As they bring it four wide out of turn four. for Lloyd Blakely, another new winner for the 2001 season for the <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, returning the checkered flag, a nice round of applause. Car number 30, Lloyd Blakely, taking his first win of the season. to start finish line first at the end of an event ladies and gentlemen a nice round of applause car number 30 as he comes out of the automobile Lloyd Blakely we continue our streak of new of different winners for the 2001 season for the street stocks at Thunder Road congratulations Lloyd on a good strong run thank you uh, I got to thank my dad, who's my sponsor, and also Fremont Racing. Um, if it wasn't for them, too, I wouldn't be here. Tell us how you got around Justin to make the pass for the win. It was hard. Uh, Justin's a good runner. He ran McLean. And I really appreciate that fact because some guys will, you know, bump you a little bit harder than he did. But it was a good race. Had fun. Uh, all right. Congratulations. The presentation from Eric Michaels at WDEV. On behalf of everybody here at uh, Radio 550 and FM 96.1, congratulations. What a great finale for our, our anniversary party. Uh, look, a tremendous race. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for putting on the race. Ladies and gentlemen, nice round of applause for the top three for the WDEV 20-lap main event for the Street Sox. Finishing third, car number 53, Rene Beatty, second place to three, Justin St. Louis, and your winner, car number 30, Roy Blakely. Don't forget, folks. Next Thursday night, 
Fan Appreciation Night. Fisher Federated Auto Parts Fan Appreciation Night here at Thunder Road. Adult admission, $5 a piece. The family for, of four for $10. We'd like to thank you all for your patience and bearing with us and the weather for this evening. We had some difficult conditions, and we got it all in. We appreciate